Hi, here is Moon with a challenge lock push over by J. Gabriel with engraving and everywhere where it could have been placed, even on the tail cap, uh, not tail, the Bible cap says you got this twice because the challenge lock is actually quite a tricky one. The key is still mummified. It was made end of last year, either October 12th or December 10th, not sure. J. Gabriel's, let's put it into the device and have a go at it. Um, the other way around. I will pick it my preferred way. Even then it's still tricky, but let me have some advantage. I will expect to see serrations on the drivers and matching. Probably threading because there are so many clicks, but possibly counter milling. And either way, it's really sharp and catching extremely hardly. Okay, number four feels set. Number six feels binding. Okay, now it's better. Now it's number two and in a full set. But I don't think two is set yet. It feels counter rotation. One more click there, second, okay, back into the full set. I guess number two is set now. And it feels like binding order also changes every time I pick it. So they might be not quite uniform, those pins. Okay, one drop down. Sometimes it requires like nudging it multiple times, but this time number one set, number two set. Three. Lose something else binding. Four feels all right. Five feels all right. And what about six? Six is binding. Okay, deep full set. Let's see. Number three was still up. And now it's a binder, of course. Counter rotating with a pick. Come on, go down. Okay, I lost the full set. Let's see what's binding now. One is alright, two is alright. Still three. What is it? A serrated spool? One is good, two is good. I'm not sure I'm finding three. One is good, two is good. I might have overset number three. Three is up again. Four, five. Okay, dropped six together with three. Or raised, rather. On. 
already curious to see the pins. That was a pick slipping of the... Don't trust the clicks. An open keyway, it might be, well, be your pick slipping from the pin and not pins moving. Come on. Okay, now it's better. Six is a right. Uh, I don't like five. Four might be okay. All right, and it is open after all. Let's have 360 degrees. All right. Pushover by J. Gabriel. Tricky lock picked. And let's see. Why is it tricky? I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, yeah, right. Let's have a look at the key first. It wasn't that. Stick it to the key and yeah. That's number six that had to be pushed down. Min lift on number five and hand filed key it was kind of um, step profile. Nice one but I bet the best part is inside. Okay, before we disassemble, let's finish the key part. What? It is not working. And it's not because of... Okay, it does work. If I pull it slightly, or push against the Bible, I guess. No, I do have to pull it. Something's wrong with the key. US style, lightly pushing it. Or pulling. Come on. You just turned. Okay, and you see it kind of works. All right, let's get to the guts. Not spend more time on playing with the key. a nail instead of a pin in chamber five or something one two three wow four pin and pin five or set trap didn't quite work and six and here you go counter milling a really sharp one and threading so the chambers are threaded like all the way through I'm not sure if it can be seen but let me get a I don't know how to show it. Yeah, so here is threading all the way. And same in chambers one and two. They are also threaded. 
Okay, well, maybe not one. Oh, the threading is different on both sides. So here you have it. Three and four knot, five threaded again, six knot, and all of them are counter milled. Really, really nice work. No wonder I couldn't pick it. The unusual way for me. It's like really, really sharp. Very nicely done. Very effective. And the pins, okay, well, I will show pins all together. Now let's go for the drivers. One. Multiple spools in one. Pin and pin and two. That's kind of honey stick. Honey and the outer sleeve for pin and pin. And a different kind of spring. Three. Oh yeah. It's also pin and pin. Because so you look at that. Ah. So there is a nail and a bowl with a hole in it. And it all goes into the serrated outer sleeve. Wow, that was quite some work. This is a kind of rattlesnake, but with this spooled middle section. I actually was thinking about making one like this. It's quite effective. So I couldn't understand the feedback Bible up like at all. Bible down, it well kind of made sense. Let's get the last ones from the back. Okay, number six is another rat <sighs> rattlesnake paired with a spring. There's multiple tiny, tiny wafers. That's just crazy. That's one of the fanciest pin work I've seen. And six, that is kind of spoolish thingy, or five rather. And I will have to show what it's paired with. All right, the Bible, nothing in there. I think. But I better check. No, the chambers are standard. I would expect something in five with this overset trap, but no. Okay, and let's have a look at the key pins as well. Because they are just as fancy as the drivers. So that's Pin and pin key pin. I am not quite sure which way the outer sleeve goes, but I will figure it out. I guess this way, but not sure. Makes more sense as it's easier to overset them. This rattlesnake key pin. Crazy and very, very nice. And here 
kind of brass tip with a nail embedded in it. I'm not sure it actually makes it easy to overset. But yeah, here you go. Very nicely pins, done pins by J. Gabriel in a pushover. A bit longer than I thought, but it was worth every minute. Thanks for watching. Bye.